The humanities are incredibly important because they demand that people think widely, broadly, and deeply about some of the most important issues in our world and in our personal lives. When we end up specializing certain areas, uh, such as uh, that involve uh, focusing on skills, we tend to neglect uh, larger philosophical, moral issues that guide people's actions, that make people act the way they do. Humanities is constantly focusing on that. On that. Also, the humanities involve uh, a constant demand that you analyze, that you write about, that you really delve very deeply in a structural way that, is, uh, that makes you smarter when you do it. Uh, so you understand the people who want, might work for you, you understand the way societies work, the way economic systems work better, because you're used to doing analyses, uh, very deep analyses of poetry, of literature, of art. They all help you uh, understand any kind of thing very deeply. And sometimes you're breaking your head to try to understand something. So it's a good skill to learn, actually, to be able to analyze something that's completely alien to you until you get deeply into it. I think everybody's going to have to do that in future about pretty much everything. I try not to think of art history as being a path to a particular career, although, of course, there are millions of careers that you can do with art history. You can become a curator. You can become a professor. But my students, the ones at a liberal arts college, they end up being doctors. They go into finance. Some of them become sculptors. Some of them uh, become English professors. Um, it, it's, a, it's a wide range. So I did not know, when I first entered art history, what anybody could do with it. In fact, my mother, who was an immigrant who did not know about a liberal arts education, when I told her I was going to be an art history major, she opened up the New York Times employment section and said, um, you show me here what kind of job you can get with an art history degree. So I, I've been answering her in my own way uh, for years by saying, you don't have to have a specific job in mind when you study art history, but there are many, many things that you can do afterwards that will make use of your art history degree. Uh, degree. Uh, some of my students go into neuroscience. Some of my best students are neuroscientists because they somehow know how to see very well. They uh, use their visual equipment to do the kind of thing that I do, visual analysis. They're excellent at it. So who can, who can explain? So I don't limit uh, my students to the ones who just go on in a career using art history. I really think all of my students in every department and every career path, they will be using the tools of art history that they learned in my classroom.